The first written records of the Irish setter breed were made a long time ago, back in the middle of the 15th century. In those sources, the term setter did not denote a specific variety of dogs, but united under its name a group of animals related to hunting wild birds. Until now, it has not been possible to reliably determine which canine varieties can be attributed to the progenitors of the modern Irish setter. Scattered information that has come down to us indicates that the formation of the genotype of the breed was attended by bloodhounds, spaniels, pointers, and even wolfhounds. According to the studbooks, purposeful breeding of setters began in the second half of the 18th century. However, it took almost a century before the breed was officially identified as a separate type. In the next couple of decades, several clubs of Irish setter lovers were registered, and the breed standard was approved. When breeding activity for the Irish setter was still gaining momentum, there were cases of mating between the hunting and show varieties. These experiments led to the fact that the puppies began to degenerate breed traits. Concerned about the state of affairs, the breeders stopped such mating. Interesting fact, it is known that the Americans gave preference to the show setter varieties, cultivating the qualities of the show breed. Therefore, the Irish-American made setters are somewhat different in appearance from their European counterparts. And Russian breeders have always relied on the breeding of hunting lines. Moreover, the breeding work was carried out very actively. Even before the revolution, there were many elite-level nurseries in the country, which had the highest patronage of princely families. The breed was constantly improving due to purebred producers imported to Russia from Europe. But since no special attention was paid to show qualities, the domestic livestock of setters did not take part in international exhibitions. Irish Setter. Description of the breed. This intellectual is always friendly and very communicative. He confides in the world around him and all living beings, be it his fellow tribesmen, a person or even a cat. The Irish setter is active most of the day, sometimes it seems that he does not know at all what fatigue is and his energy would be enough for two. Of course, a setter is a hunter first and foremost. However, aggression, death grip, viciousness and an unbridled desire to dominate are not at all included in the circle of his priorities. He is an intellectual and a gentleman with excellent hunting skills and instincts. His becoming, proud posture, high fast legs have always been the invariable and most beautiful attribute of elite hunting. The breed standard determines the height at the withers. For males 58 to 67 cm, for bitches 55 to 62 cm. The hair of the setters is smooth and silky, of medium length. On the belly, it forms the so-called fringe, which is more pronounced in show individuals. They also boast a special satin tint of their red chestnut hair. Worker setters are much more modest. However, too long curly coat is considered a disqualification of the breed. Interesting fact, the classic coat color, according to the breed standard, is chestnut. Small white patches on the neck, chest and forehead are acceptable. Black, no. The Irish red setter owes its distinctive stature to its well-proportioned body and long muscular limbs. In movement, the dog is especially beautiful. It moves in a classic gallop while keeping its head high. The hind legs give a springy push, and the front ones give a high, beautiful reach. Another characteristic feature of the breed is its ears. They are set low on the setter, hanging along the muzzle, framed by silky hair and very soft to the touch. If the ears of the setter curl up into a tube or hang down like a bird ock, this is considered a disqualifying sign. The tail of the setter is straight or saber-shaped. The base of the tail is massive, tapering towards the tip. Bitches have a tail 2 to 3 centimeters longer than that of males. If the tail is short or too bent, the breeding commission recognizes it as a defect. Popular colors of Irish setters. The ancestors of the Irish setters were red or white red in color. They were even called red spaniels. But Irish breeders have made every effort to achieve a unique red chestnut shade of the breed's coat. Now this particular color is considered the most popular and appreciated by lovers of Irish setters all over the world. The intensity of the color is determined by the quality of the coat, its structure, density, and thickness of the hair. For example, on the legs, ears and tail of a setter, the hair is thinner than the hair on the body, so it tends to be less dyed. In general, the color of the coat of the classic Irish setters has several shades, from red to red and red chestnut. The direction of the breed also significantly influences the color of the Irish setter. As you know, show varieties are the owners of a brighter shade of will, they deserve the title of Irish red setter. But working setters cannot boast of such a dazzling coat and color intensity. The breed standard allows for white spotting of dogs if the marks are located on the chest, neck or on the tips of the paws. If the spotting is more pronounced, then you have a representative of a special breed, the Irish red and white setter. The nature and habits of the Irish setters. The hunting orientation of the breed leaves an imprint on the character and habits of the Irish setter. Dogs are reckless and active, easygoing, well-controlled, but cannot boast of special endurance. 
When the setter hunts, he mainly relies on his intuition, which he has well developed, and minimally uses his hearing and sight. The increased temperament of the animal prevents it from concentrating for a long time on any one object or type of activity. This feature makes it difficult to train setters. Their training is not an easy process, requiring the owner to have sufficient patience and a clear plan of activities with the pet. Starting from 3.5 months, puppies are quite capable of assessing the situation around them for hierarchy, so it is important not to miss the moment and establish the status quo in time, which will simplify communication between the owner and the pet in the future. From this age, you can start training the dog and teaching the basic commands. Fun fact, Irish setters are self-sufficient and stubborn. Therefore, one should not expect from them unquestioning and precise execution of commands, as, for example, from shepherd dogs. They are less executive, although obedient, they often improvise when executing commands. This should be taken into account so as not to overdo it in training and not completely discourage the pet from pursuing classes. Communicating with an Irish setter is challenging but fun. The owner and the pet simultaneously study each other's habits, and the setter tries not to yield to humans in cunning and resourcefulness. If he does not want to follow the commands, he demonstrates a lack of understanding with such genuine regret that an inexperienced dog breeder can follow the lead of the sly and cancel the lesson. But if the setter is caught in deceit, you should not force him to obey by force, it is better to show your disappointment with his unwillingness to work. Remorse will not allow the pet to continue circus, and he will return to classes. You should not abuse such tricks, the owner of the Irish setter has to be on the lookout and not fall for the tricks of a savvy pet. If it is possible to find a balance of relations in this matter, then the threat of raising an obstinate lazy person will be minimized. Overall, the Irish setter is very performant. He gets along well with children, can play with them for a long time, without showing aggression even in response to an unceremonious treatment. Loves long walks in the fresh air and active games. They just perfectly reduce the pet's cravings for adventures. After walking and running until you drop, the setter, returning home, will most likely prefer to rest somewhere in a secluded corner. If you do not give an outlet for his excess energy, he will have to look for entertainment for himself on his own, and he will undoubtedly find them. Don't try to make the Irish setter your home watchman or security guard. His innate friendliness, simple-minded disposition and lack of aggression are more conducive to friendly communication with strangers than to defense. Interesting facts about Irish setters. The Irish setter is an amazing and interesting breed. Dog lovers around the world appreciate her not only for her professional hunting qualities, friendly character and high intelligence, but also for her exceptional appearance, which, in turn, is actively used for commercial purposes by marketers and advertisers. Thanks to its good looks, the Irish setter has become a media persona. His image often appears on our TV screens and on the internet. Setter commercials have very high ratings, regardless of which product category the ad belongs to. And even the Irish bus company has chosen the Irish setter as its logo. It is known that US President John F. Kennedy was presented with an Irish setter puppy during his visit to Ireland, which later became his favorite. At one time, the Irish red setter was chosen as a pet by the father of A.S. Pushkin, Sergei Lvovich. Speaking about interesting facts about this breed, it is worth noting that the metabolism and the body of the Irish setter is much faster than that of other breeds. Therefore, the setter usually eats more food than any other dog of similar build and height. Rehabilitation centers around the world use the Irish setter as an excellent companion to work in nursing homes, hospices and as a home dog therapy for people with disabilities. Pros and cons of Irish setters At first glance, the good-natured, handsome Irish setter will suit almost any owner. But this is a superficial judgment. In fact, the owner of such a dog should be a person who will be able to find the right approach to raising a pet and will have enough time to communicate with him. Before deciding to buy a puppy, you need to weigh the pros and cons. The breed has undeniable advantages, setters are friendly, non-aggressive and outgoing. It's hard to find a kinder breed. They are always ready for dialogue with the owner and are infinitely loyal to him. The active and playful disposition of the setter allows him to become an excellent nanny for the master's children and an excellent companion for games. The presence of other pets in the house does not pose a problem for the Irish setter. He gets along quite well with other animals on the same territory and sometimes even shows a kind of guardianship over the others, feeling heightened responsibility from the position of an older and stronger comrade, the Irish setter is a great hunter. His main passion is birds and swamp game. And if this interest coincides with the owners, then a strong partner tandem develops, pleasing both and strengthening the bond between the person and his pet. With an outstanding intellect, the Irish setter is capable of self-learning and perfectly adapts to any life circumstances. The care and maintenance of the Irish setter at home is practically no different from other dog breeds. 
If you do not pamper him too much, then in everyday life and food it is quite unpretentious. However, there are some disadvantages, you should pay special attention to them. The luxurious hair of the setter needs constant careful care, especially for show class dogs. But the hair of the working setters also needs to be looked after, otherwise it will fall off, become overgrown with mats, that will have to be cut. Training ability is not the Irish setter's strong suit. Due to his playful nature and irrepressible energy, it is difficult for him to focus on monotonous and boring lessons. It is necessary to understand that the natural temperament of the setter does not allow him to sit still for a long time. He needs long walks, active games and physical activity. If the owner cannot provide these conditions for the animal, then it is better not to consider the Irish setter as a potential pet. Breeding Irish Setters Breeding work for Irish setters is very active due to the high demand for these dogs. But in order to get high-quality offspring and to prevent the degeneration of the breed traits of the setter, certain conditions must be observed. A bitch is formally considered ready to reproduce if she has reached the age of 15 months. But ideally, the dog should be allowed to mate after the third heat, and for some setters, the first heat occurs at the age of two. This fact must be taken into account. Earlier pregnancies can cause irreparable harm, not only to her health, but also to the health of future puppies. An important fact, setter males entering the breeding phase must surpass most of their relatives in all characteristics, which must certainly be confirmed by certificates from competitions and shows. They are allowed to mate at the age of two to four years. If we talk about the show category of the Irish setter, then we can distinguish two types of show dogs with the best characteristics, these are Irish with American and English registration. The British have succeeded in forming the classic form of the breed in all its manifestations. American breeders have somewhat overdone in cultivating the show qualities of the setter, and now the overseas representative of the breed has an appearance somewhat different from the traditional one. The Irish setter breeding process is not without the frustrations of deviating from the standard in puppies. So, for example, the breed's disqualifying features are wider shortened head shape, burdock hanging ears, too long and too curly coat, stooped back, hump back, crescent shape and insufficient tail length, lack of pigmentation on the lips, eyelids or nose, Currently, the majority of Irish setter owners have nothing to do with hunting and have such a dog exclusively as a companion. However, many breeders are happy to pay attention to the pet show career. Irish Setter Care The main expenditure of effort in keeping an Irish setter, of course, is the grooming of the pet's coat. It's not easy to achieve the famous gloss and shimmer. This is especially true for show dogs, in which the coat is significantly longer than that of the hunting varieties. Although it is long for all setters, especially on the stomach. Such wool invariably clings to burrows, thorns and dry grass during walks and constantly gets dirty. She also falls over and gets entangled in tangles. Therefore, you need to be prepared for daily thorough combing of the pet's luxurious hair. Natural bristle brushes are usually used for this procedure. The more thorough the process of daily brushing, the more pride your pet will be at shows. Especially keen breeders use various oils and masks to care for their handsome coat, helping to eliminate dryness, brittleness of individual hairs, restore shine and achieve ideal length. The bathing process of the Irish setter, in addition to its hygienic function, is also a kind of beauty procedure, for which special detergents are used to moisturize the skin, as well as various conditioning compositions for a healthy shine and smoothness of the coat. By the way, you need to brush the setter just before bathing, because it will be much more difficult to tidy up the matted wet coat. Interesting fact, in order to save yourself some of the problems with grooming your hair, it is advisable to walk your pet in dirty and wet weather in a special protective overalls. The rest of the Irish setter care can be called standard, suitable for most breeds. This is a regular haircut, clipping the hair on the paws between the toes, cutting nails, daily examination of the teeth, ears and eyes, cleaning them with special products and solutions, if necessary. Perhaps the drooping ears of the setter require a little more attention. Due to their structural features, they are poorly ventilated and require additional forced airing to avoid unnecessary infections and the appearance of parasites. Diet of Irish Setters When feeding an Irish setter, it must be borne in mind that the animal has rather long legs and it will be uncomfortable and simply harmful to bend over to the bowl during each meal or with a portion of water. Therefore, setters need a special bowl stand, which will most likely have to be changed a couple of times as the pet grows up. The diet of the Irish setter should be formulated taking into account its physical activity. If the dog goes hunting or has other increased physical activity, then the food for it should be more nutritious and dense than that of an ordinary couch potato. Setters are generally quite indifferent to food, use it only to maintain their strength and very rarely overeat. In this case, the main task of the owner.